Hey guys, it's Mr. MJ Fan 101 Alt here, and I'm gonna try to make March, for the most part, a World War II month. I'm gonna be focusing on games and stuff centered around that. So I'm gonna kick that off with a review of Company of Heroes. I decided I haven't reviewed any PC-specific games, so I decided to switch it up today. First, the graphics and audio. For 2006, the graphics are great, and the audio is definitely believable. Now for the campaign. The campaign consists of you playing as the Americans doing several operations in Europe. You command units and squads, usually of six or three. However, tanks and snipers are by themselves. All campaign missions require you to complete a different objective to complete the mission. An example would be in Carentan, where you need to defend the town for 15 minutes until reinforcements arrive. You recruit units at your HQ, where you have your engineers build different kinds of buildings that recruit different kinds of troops. To recruit these troops or vehicles, you need different resources, manpower, munitions, and fuel. Manpower is automatically generated by your HQ, but you can increase its generation by capturing certain points around the map. Each point gives you a different resource, whether it be fuel, manpower, or munitions. Manpower tends to be used in just about everything, but obviously is used the most in recruiting troops. Munitions is often used in upgrades to your troops, and fuel generally has to do with recruiting vehicles. Overall, the campaign can take quite some time to complete, but it is well worth it, and a lot of fun. I love the squad-based gameplay, as I find it very interesting and tactical. My only gripe is that the Americans and Germans, in multiplayer, are the only uh, playable factions. This is later fixed in expansion packs, where you get the German campaigns and British campaigns. But wait. No Russian or Pacific campaign? That is a very good segue into Company of Heroes 2, which after around six and a half years, is finally coming out June 25th this year. Think about that. Rome 2, Total War, and Company of Heroes 2 both coming out this year. This year is definitely going to be big for strategy games, but anyways, enough rambling, let's get to the final verdict. I give Company of Heroes a 9.2. If it had some more factions, it definitely would have gotten a 9.6 or higher. I also want to speculate, in Company of Heroes 2, the Russians will finally be introduced. Does this mean that in Company of Heroes 3, which if it is eventually made, and I know I'm thinking way ahead here, but maybe that will have the Pacific campaign? I'm speculating and thinking way too far ahead, but I would love a Pacific campaign in Company of Heroes. And even though I think the Russian campaign will be magnificent, I mean the huge defensive battles and the huge offensive battles as well, and just the grand scale of it, like it's going to get a lot bigger, Russian battles will definitely be interesting. But I'm still holding out on at least a Pacific expansion eventually coming out. I just think a Pacific campaign would be really cool in Company of Heroes, like the kinds of tactics you could use on the Japanese or the American side. Anyways, see you guys next time.